Hello friends, today I am going to discuss what how to serve to a string variable without using third or temporary variable in thesaur.net. So right here there are taken two string type variable str1 and str2. And here str1 that initialize with Tony and here str2 initialize with Jack. So right here first I am going to execute and here you can see or using console.writeLine method. So right here, or before swapping str1 value Tony and here plus that is used for concatenate space str2 value Jack. So right here before swapping Tony and Jack it's a display. And after that I'm doing some calculation here. I'm using service string function and doing for calculation. So right here it's now reverse. So right here, Jack is now, it's come first and Sony in the last. So let's understand how that work. So right here, I'm using str1 equal to str1 plus str2. Right here, str1 has the value Sony. So let's do right at here, Sony. And here plus that is used for concatenate and here str2 jack. So after doing calculation, here the value is Sony jack and this value go to str1. So new value of str is now Sony jack. Now here after str1 dot service string function. So about the service string function if you take the cursor, so I will retrieve the service string for the instance, the service string is start at a specified character position and has a specified length. So this is what service string and here 0 is the starting and here this value is now ending. So at here str1.length, so total numbers of characters are 7. So at here at this point, let's give total uh, back or double backwards slash and here after minus str2 dot length so str2 3 so add here 3 so 7 minus 3 the value come at here 4 so add here str1 service string that is start from 0 and end with 4 so that go to str2 so str1 has this value so add here 0 to 4 so add here total add here this of all characters, so this four character go to str2. So and here str2 value is now Sony. And here str1 equal to str service string str2 dot length. So str2 at here str2 dot length. So two at here at this point str2 value is now total or str2 new value is now add here or sony so total numbers of four elements or characters add here 4 so this point the value is now add here at this point the value is now 4 so str1 dot service string so that is start from 4 so 4 and here that and here I have not given any uh, starting point so and here that is start from 4 so and here the value come j a k so and here new value of so new value of uh, str2 dot length and here 4 and here str1 dot service string so that is start from 4 so and here it come jack so and here it will come jack now here after str2 is now Sony and here str1 is now Jack and here this two value is now I am going to print so str2 so right here after str1 value at this point Jack come and here this is str2 it's now a value is now it's come Sony so it's a printing after add here after colon str1 Jack space Sony and you have to console dot it line it take one input from keyboard and terminate the output screen so at here without using go third or temporary variable if you use service string function you can easily add here or start the string so at here here you can see parameter this point end 
your start index and your in dot length. Okay, so if you give don't give any at here, there is a one parameter so that indicate at here is the start index. Okay, so I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.